Hello, welcome to Subjective Insights. Right, today I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna natter, right, on censorship and getting offended about stuff. Because right, because on Facebook, Facebook, yeah, I got banned. Now then I got banned for saying I'm not sure whether I should say the word that I said before I explain the context around it because you idiots might just switch off before you've even become aware of the context. And if anybody's savvy about how words work, right, they'll know that context determines meaning, right? So anyway, let's filter out the nitwits, okay? The word I said on Facebook was nigger. Yeah, that's what I said, okay? Now then the context. Have a little pause there to let the nitwits fuck off, yeah? The context, right, was my uncle posted on one of my pictures saying, I could say a joke here, but it's too offensive for Facebook. So I replied, I said, it's my page, unk. You can say shit, cunt, nigger, and fuck you here, right? That was the context. Now, what does that context, what's the word for it, project upon the word nigger in this instance? I just plucked out of thin air four offensive words to comfort my uncle, to make him know that he could say whatever he wanted around me, right? He could, he could express himself. Now, my uncle isn't a racist. I don't really know any proper die in the wall. Okay. I know two. I know two. I won't mention their names because it's up to them to unveil themselves. But um, that's what it was. And my intention in how I speak and how I act is to try and let people be themselves around me, especially verbally and vocally. Because um, if you let somebody be themselves around you verbally and vocally, then you can discern by what they say whether or not you want to continue engaging with them. Uh, a burp there. Uh, I've just been to the gym, so burps come up. I feel a bit sick actually. Work legs a bit too much. Anyway, now a lot of I then posted this thing on my on my wall talking about this. And I got loads of likes and some people coming in and then some people agreeing with this woman saying, Oh, you should never use the N-word. And it's like oh, there needs to be a space within the social discourse where anything can be said. Because if you tell people you can't, you can't express certain things, it doesn't mean those things that can't be expressed go away. They become repressed and it goes underground and it leads to worse shit than if you just let people say what the fuck they wanted to say anyway. It's just words, just little waveforms going through the air, that's all it is. <sighs> and, um... Really, I mean, I, one of my very earliest videos talking about morality, where if, if you, when you tell somebody off for being naughty and you try and make them behave differently, you just make them fake. Hmm. Shows the hopelessness of some relationship situations there, really, when people try to change each other. They, they, they kind of force each other into being fakes, don't they? Which could be why a lot of relationships don't work. I mean, often the male-female... Um, dynamic is that the female initially tries to make the male a better person according to her and um, the male at first obliges because often when he's first with a female he's been sexed out and the funny acts as like an incredible leverage on the male mind when he hasn't had it for a while but then after a while the, the male gets fucking pissed off with being controlled and then he tries to control the controller in turn and tries to stop the controller controlling and, and so a lot of relations and i think this is very common are condemned into this circle of unauthenticity you know each couple each of the couples are trying to make the other one wear a mask <laughs> because really nobody's happy of anybody are they <sighs> And that's what censorship does. It just, all it does, okay, racism, I, I think it's bad. I've got, I've got friends that are racist and I tell them I think it's, it, it's plain stupid to judge an entire um, subsection of humanity uh, with a, tar them with the same brush kind of thing. I think that's, that's infantile. But, um, 
I'm not going to go some, oh, you can't express those views around me. Oh, no. I, I, I would debate them, but I'm not in such a way as calling them idiots and stuff like that. I would try and debate the actual premises, you know, like what you're meant to do, where you refer what they're talking about to what they're talking about and try and demonstrate how their opinion about the subject doesn't match the subject. But within that discourse, censorship has no place. None at all. I mean, I, I think the bare limit should be if you have the force to stop somebody expressing a desire to kill people and trying to plan openly to go out and kill and hurt people, then, then yeah, censor that maybe. And not just censor it, fucking lock them up, stop them from going out and actually harming and stopping other people doing what they want. But censorship is just... It just gives the wolf sheep's clothing. It's like the sheep want to be slaughtered. It's like, look, first of all, if the wolf comes in and he ain't got no clothing, you know he's a fucking wolf. You can see him. He's got claws and teeth and stuff. The second you start saying, oh, no, we can't have claws and teeth around here, and that grey matted fur, no, no, no way are we allowed that in his pen, the wolf just dresses up in sheep's clothes, and, and then he just mauls you all the time, and then all the sheep are looking around going, he's killing us all. We've just got a sheep around here now. It's because you, you're full of sheep, wolves in sheep's clothing. You've made it that way. You fucking idiots. Goodbye.